Right, welcome back to Smithy's over 100 golf courses in a year, part two. This is still Friday the 23rd of September. Uh, this is day two of five countries in five days. I'm in Northern Ireland today. I've just come along the road from Kirsten Castle Golf Club. Get the ferry from Port Ferry to Strangford, across the loch. And uh, come straight over, we're at Ardglass Golf Club. This is course number 164 this year. Looks really nice. Let's go and see what it's got. Right, before I go to the first tee, just having a look at the clubhouse. Rather nice. Right, that's the meadow tee down there. Putting green. First away up the hill there. And we'll just make our way up to the first tee shortly. Ladies and gentlemen, it's course number 164 of 2022. It's Art Glass Golf Club on the tee playing five countries in five days and it's day two Northern Ireland course number two today from Kirkintillic in Scotland Smithy Right this is the opener at Arglass 338 yards they let me play off the whites what an opening hole this is look at that out to the left a few rock formations and you're playing uphill and the green's away up the top there so we're bringing a stunt goal up Stunt golf ball Camilla out immediately because this is a dangerous shot, could easily be lost. Uh, before I take my tee shot at the first, we view from behind the tee. Right round. Apparently a clubhouse, the oldest clubhouse in the world, 1405. Uh, back up the hole. Just taking a quick look back from the first green. Right down the clubhouse there. Started off with a six, not my best. This is the second at our glass. 167 yards across the chasm there. Up to the, the green, it's on a level with the tee, or just slightly above it. A customary view to the side. Third hole at our glass, 339 yards. I can't see the fairway here from the, the tee. I'm just going to hit it straight and hope for the best. I think it's slight veer to the, the left once you get further up. Ah, so look down the fairway to the third green. Uh, not sure where my ball is yet. Had a nice one, but it's a humpy bumpy fairway. I'll have to have a wee look for it. That's the fourth hole, 371 yards. Ah, uh, glass. Tees higher, higher up, playing down onto the fairway. A lot of pop bunkers, right hand and left hand side. And anything left, uh, you can forget about it. Just a video on the hole if I look across. First glimpse of the mountains of Morn over there. Right, that's the downhill, par 3 fifth, uh, about 150 yards. A couple of bunkers guarding the green. And all sorts of nonsense away out to the left hand side there. That's the sixth hole, 407 yards, par 4. Straight down, I think there's a slight raise in the green, lots of bunkers it looks like down there. Seventh at our glass, 220 yards, par 3. Uh, down towards the sea, uh, it's just a long straight one. This is a look at the seventh green. You can get the house that's on the right hand side. My ball just to the right hand side. Fortunately, just got a wee shot past the house. Eighth hole at our glass, 441 yards, par four. It's a long one. Slightly into the wind as well. Over the ridge, and then it flattens out after that. So, look up to the eighth green. It's a long par four. Into the wind today. I've just put my third shot in the front bunker there. I'm oh. looking down the ninth, end of the first half here at Arglass. First par five, it's 529 yards. A few fairway bunkers, then it's uh, rising up to the green, I think. As right, so I look down at the 10th hole here at Arglass. Oh, what a setting, looks absolutely fantastic. Look at that. Mountains of Morn over there, 203 yards. And I'm just joining in with three Canadian guys. That's Huey, Dewey and Louie. No, it's actually Daryl, Alfred and George. Uh, they've seen my stuff in golf courses of Scotland before, so I get recognised. Oh, smashing. I uh, really enjoy all being joined their company for their back nine. Here we go. Oh, this is the 11th. Par 5, 485 yards. Oh, look at this. Dangerous drive. There's the beach there. Look at the scenery right round. i uh, got to hit it over those uh, bushes up there, and then it's straight up towards the hole. So it's too dangerous, so this is one for the stunt golf ball, Camilla. After hitting a nice drive round the corner there, 
my natural feed came in and it's uh, straight right up there it looks as if there's a ditch running down water to the right and here's another cracker at our glass uh, 12th hole 198 yards par 3 rain's just come on look at the view around here Just looking back down there, that's a nice view down there, oh the 11th there, and back to the hole. Right, we're at the 13th at our glass, it's 397 yards, uh, rising straight, uh, that flag in front of me is the previous hole, so you're playing across it, water out to the right, out of bounds, but playing up the hill. Right, we're at the 14th at our glass, it's uh, 400 yards, oh there's a few bushes there to clear, so it's a dangerous tee shot, straight up though. I'm just looking around from the 15th tee, this is the back of it, across the bay, across there, that's down to the 12th, mountains of Morn, we go right around the course, look at this for a view, and then, well, I was saying look at this for a view, but that's, that's Darrow and Alfred there, <laughs> and, then we, and then we come on to the par 5, 15, 491 yards, looks like straight down. Come to the 16th, looking into a gloomy sky up there, it's 422 yards, so it's a long par 4. Uh, some red red sticks there, so there'll be a bit of water just up the fairway. We'll look up 17, 361 yards, rising up, can't see where the green is. Come up over the hill at 17, this is the view down to the green there. Big pot bunker sitting in the middle and then it rises up to platform green. Here we come to the final hole. Uh, what a smashing course this is, here at our glass, it's 345 yards. Right down towards the flags, kind of sloping fairway left to right. Let's have a gratuitous look at the sea out there. Clubhouse down the right. Right, away we go. Right, we're on the 18th green. This is Alfred from Nova Scotia. Oh, just missed that. And the guys are touring around Ireland and getting over to Scotland. Apart from George, who's going home Sunday. And this is Darrow. Just about to go. Oh, he's, just, he's missed that one as well. <laughs> oh, I'm not coming to these guys for putting lessons anyway, that's for sure. I'm uh, just going to see if George can make up for this one. Six foot, easily done. Oh, oh that's missed as well. And just before I finish, a big, great big thanks to Alfred, Darrell and George, the Canadian guys joined in with them in the back nine, absolute pleasure playing with them, hope they enjoy the rest of their trip. So there we go, bye bye. Well I see me have accidentally deleted my roundup video from Arglass Golf Club. Anyway, uh, it's a fantastic setting, uh, really scenic, uh, of course it was in tremendous condition, some fantastic holes on there. Uh, really enjoyed playing with the uh, Canadian guys in the back nine. Uh, if I've got, what am I going to give it as a mark? It's going to be a 9.25 for me. Uh, so that was the end of uh, day two on Northern Ireland and the five countries in five days trip. So moved on from there, staying in Dundalk after that. And then uh, next day we're on to Ireland. Cheers.